this is the your um, the the depressed Eeyore. I was about to say Eeyore. But uh, there you go. So let's go ahead and get this started. I had to take a short break mainly because I can't render and record this game at the same time. It just starts lagging. Which you would think it's not bad, but uh, for the animations and stuff, it really it it really makes it just unbearable. I've I've seen recordings with the slow animation. It's just a pain. So first things first. This. I don't think all my videos are gonna start on the uh, on the title screen. I'm just doing it for these first few. And where we left off, we got beat up pretty bad. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and change our formation a bit. Everyone still has 100 speeds by hitting level two, so it's not no big deal right now. We'll go ahead and uh, swap you out. Yeah, no. All right. Let's go ahead and um, spore strange space and go back to the dungeon. As you can see, we've already explored the top, this little, the uh, top section already, so let's go ahead and keep going. We need to, and we're going to go get mixed up on my controls. There we go. We're into these guys. Um, I tried doing, well, I think wind's your best bet against these characters. They're nature-based, they do have AoEs. Um, there is a particular yokai that specializes in darkness. A 
and I won't mention her name yet. I, you'll eventually probably know who it is anyway. So there you go. Unfortunately, she's not that smart, and they're gonna have to figure out a way to explain the, uh, the situation so that she'll actually join. But they are gonna just leave the matter for now. The uh, event is gone, and we'll probably run into that darkness again uh, multiple times. But for now, we don't have to worry about it. So let's continue. Gun. 
so we're kind of in a little bit of trouble simply because we're running out of SP. Um, you can run away from fights as long as it's not a boss battle. Uh, what will happen is you'll lose, everyone will lose TP for doing so. Like, more than usual. But, uh, it will prevent you from dying. <laughs> if your main party all lose, runs out of TP at the same time, um, even if you have party members in the back rows, it will, uh, they'll say, uh, that's enough for now, and just take you back to the, uh, the, uh, Gensokyo again. It's kind of like a safety precaution so you're not caught in a battle without any, uh, party members in your front row. Uh, the way you lose this fight is if any, any, if your front row dies, all the party members in your front row die, uh, that's it. So, it's a good idea that if, if someone dies, that you filter someone into that, into that empty slot. So, there you go. Just wanted to explain, explain that at least. Uh, formation. How much we can do now? Um, we can go ahead and swap you to there. You to there. Well, actually, no. This is a little risky, but um, that's fine. Also notice that uh, Marissa is back to full health, but she has a lot less TP now because she lost a lot of hit points. You'll always regain all your hit points after every battle, but uh, how much you regain kind of affects how much TP you lose. Alright, so here we go again. I'm going to go ahead and focus. 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 Notice that everyone regains a, a certain amount of um, SP based off their uh, various stats. So it's not the same for everyone. Uh oh. Speed down. And attack to Marissa, but she's arrived. I'll focus again. You'll go ahead and do Spirit Gun here. As you notice, I got hit with a speed down. It only affected, uh, there is a stat that allows you to resist stat debuffs like this, um, but uh, Reyma's didn't succeed, so she has this 18%, uh, minus 18%, I'll show it with my mouse, it's right here. So speed down 18%. So she, it just makes her SP, her uh, action bar go up slower. So there we go, we got another power belt. Unfortunately, Marissa is just about out of TP, um, and Patchel is practically out of everything, so, um, so we'll out. What you can do is actually go with smaller parties, if you have open slots, um, and that can help you kind of mitigate some of the issues that you're having. Uh, for now, actually, we can just go ahead and filter you ahead. There you go. Problem solved. Do I really want to do anything else? No. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Equip. Other power belt. There you go. So about, yeah, it's still about 10%. So there you go. We got now plus 20% in attack and plus 10% HP. And everyone else has nothing. There are some treasure chests that we still haven't opened, so... Actually, we haven't opened any yet. So you guys will just have to take my word for it that there are any at all. There we go. This little picture here means you just found a treasure box. It says you can choose to open it or don't open it. There's apps, there's no there's no reason at all to not open a chest. So go ahead and open it. Get a book of knowledge. All right, we'll go ahead and click that to uh, uh, Jolly. Uh, it gets plus ten percent magic, so it makes her spell stronger. do is might as well just use my spells. I'll do Earth Light Ray. You just focus and you uh, do misdirection. There you go, kill them both. Uh, more of these guys. Orb attack. I 
believe those little those red demons are actually vulnerable to a spirit, so it's a little helpful to attack. More damage. Can I kill it? Yes, I can with normal attacks. All right. Fortunately, we're just about out of um, SP with her, so we're down to not very much left. <laughs> in the back row for now. Nothing here. Okay. If worse comes to worse, I'll run away. Which I might for this combat. Focus. You go ahead and do Soul Sculpture. That did a lot of damage, but not enough to actually kill anything. Focus. notice that, um, well, you probably can't notice now, but, um, when I swapped in Pacholi, she started out with 75% of her action bar already filled. That's the benefit of swapping people in and out, because later on you're going to have to do it a lot. <laughs> Not that's mainly just to get your main attackers out of the, uh, harm's way, but also to recycle their, uh, ape, their action bars so they can attack faster. There we go. And there we go. We'll go ahead and return to Gensokyo. Sorry. And we'll go ahead and level up. We can actually level up twice for her, so let's do so. Let's do magic. Level up once for her. Once for her. And once for her. So there you go. If I have to do any grinding, or if I just choose to do some grinding, I'll do it off camera. But uh, let's go ahead and save our game. And we'll do a little bit more exploring. There you go. But one second, guys. I need to be right back. Okay, I was just checking that message I, I received earlier. It's just a friend. So, there you go. Let's go ahead and enter this dungeon. So we're making progress. Um, later on, once we get a full party, and sorry, my mouse is on the screen again, the, um, it gets a lot easier to do exploration. It's just right now we only have five party members. Once you have like 12 party members, you can filter people in and out. It's a lot easier. Um, unless, of course, you're, you have a party of enough of very few attackers. And it looks like we found an event. Fortunately, uh, random encounters proc first. Um, you just probably just noticed that uh, Raymo just went first, even though Patchy's to the left of her. That means her speed's higher. Um, I didn't really check her. Uh, she probably has a speed of 101 now instead of 100. So just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, might as well take advantage of this and kill the units already. So there you go. We find Chin again. They're just saying, oh, we spotted you. Now, uh, Millie wants Sakia to capture her. Yes, it's a cat. She is a cat's Shikigami. Of course, uh, uh, as a maid, she's like, I don't want you keeping cats, because they leak uh, fur everywhere. It's really bad for sweeping. Amelia's like, oh, has no idea what she's talking about. Uh, they just want to interrogate her. <laughs> it's more, uh, Saki is kind of playing the, uh, I guess, the, uh, the motherly role in this, uh, in this conversation. And she briefly mentions, uh, Flandra. Which we won't see for, a, for quite a while. And now, uh, Patchy's kind of coughing. Uh, Patchy's a very sickly person, like, with asthma and stuff like that. So, uh, she's kind of freaking out from all the cat fur. And just probably, 
pollen, and this is probably an area with a lot of pollen and stuff.
Akio also only has a, a speed of 100, so she is one behind right now, so she's not going to go that fast. And she's not really good for clearing right now. Alright, here's another chest. Sorry, I said that ahead of time. So this is a chest. I'll go ahead and open it. It has a willpower bag. This is actually really useful. Um, let's go ahead and uh, equip that. Don't really know who to equip it to, but I'll go ahead and just equip it to Patchy right now. Where is it? There it is. Willpower bag gives you plus two TP. So there you go. Right now it doesn't increase it because it, it doesn't really increase it while in, uh, while in the field, but uh, once I come back, Patchy will have like 10 TP instead of 8, or whatever her original max was. We'll go ahead and attack. We'll do, um... You can focus. You can Earth Light Ray. references in the early in the early game and it does it's it kind of, it they kind of go off on their own humor in the later game le later levels so yeah, she's gonna go ahead and explain this is a blood stained seal um, and it's holding back something that's uh, very strong and sleeping it also she also warns you that um, it's good, probably not a good idea to break the seal right now because we're not past the floor And she mentioned uh, what the seal's uh, holding back, and the, her advice is to Google it. 
Of course, Ghouli, uh, live without Toho could be a little bit more difficult than she thinks. <laughs> Finding information on Toho can be very difficult at times. But there are some good sites, at least. <laughs> and just as you said, uh, probably Google wouldn't have very much information. Um, unless you go to the Wikia, um, or a, a Toho fan site, or Toho forum section, um, you're not going to find much information on this game, or any game in general. Or Toho game, I mean. <laughs> so, Rain was like, we should leave this alone. And Marissa is going to touch it. And we just broke the seal. You spoke too slowly. <laughs> But nothing seems to happen. But uh, Rainma senses that power that she sensed is now appearing all over the place. And it says that there seems to be a seal on this floor somewhere. So, and say, asking if we should take a look at it. Of course, Marissa wants to take a look. And Pacioli is warning us again, saying that it's probably too tough for us, but she'll let us be the judge. So, there you go, the seal is here. If I step on it again... Pretty much, the seal's still here, but she, uh, we haven't done enough to break it yet. But, if we look at our map, you'll notice that I'll point break my mouse on the screen. You'll notice that this spot that was empty now has a uh, event. So, against better judgment, I'm going to go ahead and reveal this event. Yeah, well, actually, I'll do that after I run out of SP. Tell you what. I'll let that be the final thing I do. I'm gonna go ahead and just burn off the rest of this SP for XP experience. So, go ahead and do Evil Ceiling. Paralyzed one. We'll go ahead and uh, do Magic Missile. You go ahead and focus. Spear gun. I can tell you right now that new event is one that you don't want to mess with. But I'm going to show it anyway, just to show you just how powerful some of these bosses will be in the future. Granted, we don't have any defenses, so it, oh, the damage will be a little bit higher than expected. But I'm already revealing way too much. Asteroid built. Uh, killed one. Um, we'll show off Killing Doll. It's a single target spell. Kills it. There we go. So we're practically out of SP. So let's go ahead and call it quits. Back to Kinsokyo. We'll go ahead and reset our formation. It's something more reasonable, like that. And um, let's go ahead and level up our characters. Whoever can be leveled up, you can level up. I might as well be as strong as possible for this uh, bad idea I'm about to do. Hmm. And magic. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and uh, save our game. There we go. 31 battles, blah blah blah. And it's about time to cut this video off, but I'm going to go ahead and show off this one thing. So, let's go. Just making sure I'm going the right direction. Because these paths can be winding at times.
all it does is plus 4% recovery, which can be useful at times. But it's not going to matter because, um, well, I'll show you. So here it is. The, the event that just got revealed. There is a bloodstain seal. Another one of those seals. I can feel immense power. What shall we do? Uh, should we break the seal? Sure. Here it comes. She goes first. Needle parade. 15,000 damage. Dead. So yeah. We are not gonna, we're not going to be strong enough to fight that boss for a while. And you go to the game over screen, blah blah blah, and you have to load your game. So that item I picked up, I don't have anymore. But that's okay, it was only a plus 4% recovery item, so I'm not that worried about it. But I wanted to show that off. Um, to kind of give you an idea of when, I, when we can fight that boss, uh, we're talking in-game, fighting the, the, the main story bo final boss level type thing. Maybe not that strong, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty far up there. Um, also, kind of depends on who you put, who you go, um, kind of depends on your character as well, like your setup. But uh, that boss is very tough. It's very very fast and um, hits very hard. Uh, it opens with Needle Parade, which is the strongest attack. So um, if you can survive that, you might be able to survive the other attacks until it does Needle Parade again. <laughs> so there you go. I'm the, the press dealer, and this was Labyrinth of Toho. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're gaining a little bit more progress. Um, probably for the next video, we might attempt to fight Chin. So, um, I'll see you guys.